Okay, Pixels. This is the Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Peter Dinklage, Josh Gad film where we've sent footage of video games up into space and aliens think that it was a declaration of war. So they're attacking us with 80s style video game characters. I actually really enjoyed this film. It's, it is undeniably stupid. And I think, had you put anybody except for Adam Sandler, this film probably made a lot more money. Josh Gad has got soliloquies in this that seem like they are the most out of place bits of dialogue, but they just work beautifully. So essentially they were gamers in the 80s. And now jump forward to now and Kevin James is the president. And Adam Sandler works for something called Nerd. And he installs TVs. But then one night, the Earth gets attacked by Galaga. And through a use of jumbled together 80s footage, the aliens challenge us. Giving us one quarter. So we've got three tries to defeat the aliens in old school 80s old school 80s video games. They do a bit that I want to say it was Breakout. It was hard. It could have been Pong. It was hard to tell because those two are are they're similar. Also, could be like Arkanoid. They're similar in the way that they're done. There's a lot of 80s nerd humor. No, also to my Josh Gain, does a pretty good job for him. I'd probably say he is the comedic star of this whole thing. Adam Sandler is the Adam Sandler goofy guy sort of character. And Kevin James is just kind of there. It's probably more money than Paul Blart. But the effects, when they show them hitting things, everything becomes pixels. I liked it. It was interesting. It actually felt, it, it made sense given the, the, the plot line. This is a stupid movie. I mean, there's nothing about this film that makes you think this is going to be anything but a dumb, dumb movie. But I arcaded a tremendous amount in the 80s. So a lot of the jokes were just perfect for me. It felt like it hit an age range that was more like, we're going to go for guys from their 30s. People who remember arcades, not really younger people. And it's still going to be a stupid movie. But a lot of great nostalgia. So that's pretty much the whole film. It was 80s nostalgia, nerd culture, and video game references. And overall, you know, special effects wise, decent. I think Adam Sandler doesn't really help the film that much. Other people do a much, much better job and have really good, funny dialogue. But at the end of the day, it's just a pretty decent, easily watchable, dumb movie.